Universal Studios Florida for the first day of Mardi Gras 2023. I actually let my annual pass lapse over the winter, so this is my first day back on a brand new annual pass, so I'll be trying to make sure I get to Universal a little more than I have obviously in the last few months. But we are going to check out as much of the food as we can at Mardi Gras 2023 coming up at 7:45 we have the Mardi Gras parade and we're just going to see as many of the festivities related to Mardi Gras as possible it is packed today so even the Jimmy Fallon ride has an hour wait so i don't think we're going to be doing any rides maybe i'll hop on ET but this is about the Mardi Gras festivities and we're going to hit them starting right now
It's Mardi Gras, so we're gonna start with some dessert before we have anything substantial. Saw the Tribute Store, got to walk through that, and you got to see a ton of the decorations there. Of course, they have some sweets available for purchase in the Tribute Store. I got two. I got the King Cake Macaroon, and I got this Vanilla Cookie Dough ball here. So we are gonna start with the Vanilla Cookie Dough. Try this one first. Mm. Mm. Really good, really chewy. Um, very strong vanilla flavor, so I really like that one. It's very sweet, but you know, you're getting sweets, they're gonna be sweet. Now we'll try the King Cake Macaroon. Mmm. Very good. A lot of actual flavor to it. A lot of fresh baked flavor to it. So, pleasantly surprised with these two treats. We will get something a little more substantial in just a few minutes, but right now we're just enjoying the atmosphere of Mardi Gras 2023 at Universal Studios Florida. from the Mexico booth here at Mardi Gras 2023 at Universal Studios Florida. I got two items at this booth. The elotes, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's basically vegetarian. It is corn on the cob, but it has a ton of different spices and sauces. And I got the vegan churros, and there are a ton of churros that come with this vegan churro order. Not only are the churros themselves vegan, but the sauce, the chocolate sauce that comes with it is also vegan as well. So vegetarian and a vegan dish here at Mardi Gras 2023. I realized I didn't grab napkins. That is gonna end up being a mistake, but we're gonna dig in anyway. Wow. All kinds of spices and yeah, it's very, very flavorful. All the spices are kind of fighting each other, but in a good way. Mm. And it's refreshing because every time you bite into the corn on the cob, splashes back at you. So it's pretty good if it were a hot day. It's not a hot day right now, but if it were a hot day, that would be beneficial. And now let's try a vegan churro. Okay. So there are two different sauces. I think this is probably, well, I'll just dig into it here. Mm. 
must be some kind of imitation honey or something like that. And chocolate. Mmm. Really good and this container. It's just a cup full of churros. So you get a lot of churros for like $7. So that was really, really good. And I'm gonna finish this up then and we're gonna continue moving around Universal Studios Florida. Mardi Gras 2023 is international flavors of Carnival. So they have all these different country booths, sort of like an Epcot festival, but this one's really good. I think it is up there with, if not surpassing most of the Epcot festivals. I'm at the Trinidad and Tobago booth, which is right outside the entrance to Springfield, USA. I'm gonna try the, I believe it's Flores. Both of these items I am about to show you are vegan. So we're gonna try the Flores. Mmm. A very spicy dipping sauce, but the Flores themselves are very doughy on the inside, so kind of counteracts that spiciness really well. Mm. I need a lot of chewing with it, but it's really good. Now, I'm gonna try the chickpea dumpling. Gonna try to roll it up a little bit here, but this is probably gonna end up being a mess. Oh well. Mmm. That curry is perfect, absolutely perfect. I love both of these items. The Trinidad and Tobago booth. I definitely recommend this one. So I haven't been to Universal Studios Florida in a few months. Like I said, I let my annual pass lapse. So it is really fun to be back here, to be walking around the park. I have missed it. I do really love Universal as well. Yes, I'm more of a Disney fan. I'm more of a Walt Disney World fan, but I definitely love Universal and I'm happy to be a pass holder again at both, but I'm even happier that my passes don't come up for renewal the exact same time anymore. <laughs> Which was really, really important for our financial health and well-being. So now I'm heading more towards the New York and San Francisco areas, and we're gonna see what we can find over there. That's where we're gonna leave things off in vlog number one from Universal Studios Florida for Universal's Mardi Gras 2023 International Flavors of Carnival. When I return tomorrow with vlog number two, we'll be checking out more food items. We'll see the Mardi Gras parade, catch Patti LaBelle, and go to the nightclub at City Walk and spend a little bit of time there as well. It will be a party atmosphere in vlog number two from Universal Studios Florida tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.